Hiya, it's Kaya. Welcome back to my channel. Let's jump into this transformation, shall we? Also, make sure to stick around for the name reveal of my first doll repaint. And if you saw my hint in the last video, you know that I'll be working on this doll, the Killer Frost. She still doesn't have a name, so let me know in the comments what you think her name should be when you see her at the end. This doll I found for on sale for about $7 at a Ollie's and as you can tell here what I'm about to show you, her joints are a little loose. As you'll soon learn as I try to upload more videos, I didn't have a plan for Killer Frost but I found this hair at my local Joann's and I really loved her skin tone, so I decided that she was going to be my next victim. I started with the basics, just giving her a cute little scalping. <laughs> After fighting with those last little bit of stubborn hairs on her head and cleaning her off, I gave her a one coat of white acrylic paint. Sadly, the files did get corrupted on me rerouting her, but here's the end result. I only rerouted her hairline and left her a little bald in the back. <laughs> The inspiration for her makeup was going to be all white and black eyes. As you can see, I started with white thinking that I was going to have a small black pupil, but I didn't think that turned out so well. So. I just wanted to shout out Blank Space Dolls for letting everyone know about these amazing General's Chalk White pencils. I am so glad I found them. They work so well on doll face ups and that's what I use <laughs> mainly to start my face ups now. These pencils are really good because they can give you a really straight clean line but they can also be blended out a little bit. Like I'm doing on her lips right now, I'm putting down a small foundation and then 
blending it out just a little bit kind of like chalk <laughs> and it gives it a good gradient white base to put the lips color on which is like this beautiful pinky peach color that I found for her and this is like the third layer where I added some bruising and some really other colors just to give her a little more dimension Sadly, a lot of my files did get corrupted while in the process of doing her face up. So I just wanted to give you all a glimpse of what she looks like and me just tearing into her like she's a fresh doll. Um, even making the clothes was corrupted. I'm really sorry about that. But I really did want to share this doll with you guys. Since I didn't get to put out a doll for Halloween um, I guess this will be my Christmas doll even though she's a little scary I think the all white and the black eyes kind of pull you in a little bit I give her a little side pony just so I can easily cover up the back bald spots and it'll go group with her face And since she didn't have as many accessories as I did for my Hexian repaint, let's go to the final pictures. Thank you for watching my repaint video. And let me introduce you to Cleo, a lovely name picked by Bubble Buddy. Let me know in the comments below what you think our new doll friend's name should be. Also, see if you can find the hint for the next doll repaint video. And thank you all again for watching my videos. Um, like and subscribe if you want. No pressure. Bye ya!